Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin. And Sagittarius, today we're just going to do a love reading for the collective. So let's see what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. Let's see what you can expect in the Department of Love. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what we can tap into today. What do we got? Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moments, feeling uplifted. Your friendship. Okay. So you'd be talking, getting to know somebody, maybe going out for coffee or maybe going on a new date, maybe connecting with someone from the past or someone from the future, someone from the present. Let's talk about it and let's just see who it is. <laughs> and Sagi, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. And remember, Sag, don't forget to check your spam folder. Uh, they are a link that's sent. So if you don't see your reading in that time frame, check your spam, baby. Check your spam. All right, we start this with... Wow, okay, we have the death, we have Scorpio energy, we have the Six of Swords in reverse, we have the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy here. Okay, what else we got? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. There's a Knight of Wands. That's you, or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's the Ace of Cups. All right, so we start this with the, uh, what's on the bottom? Eight of Cups. And there's the Four of Pentacles. Okay. The Eight of Cups in this deck is all about introspection. It's about going within in order to make a tough decision in your life. Uh, but typically, the Eight of Cups is also about walking away, letting go of something that maybe you were invested in. Let's talk about it, because we have death. <laughs> That's how we start this reading here. So what's this death? What's this Scorpio energy? What does Sajay need to know about this? Well, there's you and your energy. Start. Whoa. Three of Swords. Whoa. Eight of Swords. Okay. And there's Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I want one more. Five of Cups. There's this. Okay. So I, I feel we're starting this reading off. Now, this is my past energy um, with a difficult ending here. Um, with that star, I kind of feel like you may have thought this person was special. Or this was something that had a lot of potential, something that could have gone somewhere. But then it goes to the Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So, um, well... Look at this. You're just washing your hands clean of that connection, that relationship, that person. You're just being in Sagittarius energy, being patient, letting yourself go um, and letting yourself move forward because the Six of Swords is in reverse. So this was a no-go. This was not going to go um, anywhere here. So I feel we've tapped into a single collective who recently may have had an ending or you just had an ending a little bit ago that was quite painful uh, with someone you thought had a lot of potential. It could be an Aquarius. Um, but the Devil's in reverse, which is a little bit of a resistant energy. Why is the Devil in reverse here? Let's talk about that devil in reverse. Sun in reverse. You might be doubting that you're going to find love. Okay. Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay. And there's the Knight of Wands. There's the Hierophant. I do. It's like, this is like an energy of like, is, is love real? Is it a dream? Can it happen to me? Is it realistic? So it's an energy of frustration, an energy of, um, well, just lacking confidence that love is, is true, that love is going to happen to you, that love is going to come through here. So maybe you're just meeting a lot of playboy, playgirls here, a lot of, you know, in and out, inconsistent people who just aren't looking for connections and relationships and you're frustrated. And again, I feel like you're like, is it going to happen for me? Am I going to meet this person? Am I going to get into a real relationship with someone that has potential? Um, there's the eight of wands. And yeah, so you're getting, yeah. So I do feel there's a frustrating energy. It's kind of like a hopeless in love, right? Is it going to happen? Is someone coming through? Um, so let's see if someone coming through here in the near future. Because there's a Knight of Wands. There's another in and out, hot and cold, inconsistent energy. What do we need to know about this Knight of Wands here for Sag? Yeah, selfish ass mofos. What's going on, Sag? Who are you drawn in? Yeah, the hangman in reverse. There's a Ten of Wands. Yeah, you, and there's wishful thinking. I, I do. I get that feeling again. You're just like, does love even exist? Is love even real? Is love going to happen for me? So there's just a lot of questioning here. You just keep running into what I feel are selfish people um, and not quite ready for a relationship. So the Eight of Swords in reverse is a hard time letting go of an old story, an old belief system, an old pattern. It, again, it's kind of similar to that devil energy. So what's the Eight of Swords in There's the Nine of Wands again. This Nine of Wands is just flying out left, right, and center here. I'm wondering if this person has been coming in and out of your life here for some time. Yeah, I think they have been. Huh. But they're juggling. And it's time to realize that Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles... Saj, I do believe this Knight of Wands is someone that's coming in and out. I believe there's a history with this person. I believe they're coming back here. Um, and it's time to let them go. So you're dealing with someone here who has been hot, cold, inconsistent, in and out. They're not really emotionally available for a connection, for a relationship, but they keep coming back. 
and you're not going to like what I'm going to say here, <laughs> but it's because you let them. Um, so it's time to set some boundaries with this motherfucker. It's time to tell them, I won't accept this. I won't tolerate it. You're here. You're not. There's no in and out. There's no back and forth anymore. There's no juggling me. There's no breadcrumbing me. I've had enough. I'm done. Done like dinner. Bam. Put a fork in it. That's the point of this reading is to release this person. There's obviously been an attachment, obviously been a strong connection, Sag. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, they're not going to change and you're not going to get what you want from this person in this situation. They really want you to release it. I feel like the coffee cup is your higher self having a conversation with you, letting you know this person ain't going to change, baby. They're not going to change. They want you to release this connection. Is there anything else you want to say about that energy here for Sag? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, King of Pentacles. It could be a, a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh no, this is someone new. Oh no, it's that person. Oh my gosh, they, they've. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see, I see, Saji. So, like I said, people will treat you the way that you let them treat them. So if they were coming in and out, and you still entertained it, or accepted it or tolerated it, or felt like this time was going to be different, you know, they made false promises, false, they're, you know, they're saying what you want to hear, um, they're coming back here, so once you set your tone here, once you set your boundaries, it's kind of like a, a, they have a tower moment, like, holy motherfucking shit, Saji, Saji, I might lose my Saji here, I can't be in and out anymore, I can't juggle this, I can't breadcrumb them, I can't do what I've been doing, Oh, okay, well, let me tell them I'm going to step up to the plate now, and turn into this king of pentacles, and provide stability, I'm going to change, but are they really? Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Are they really going to change? No, they're not. They're going to hurt you again. There's a two of wands. There's a queen of swords and you're going to be mad. So a lot of false promises here, Sag, from this uh, person who is not going to change. What I see is you realizing that and saying, fuck you, have a nice day. I'm going to have a fresh start here. What else you want to say about this Ace of Cups for Sag? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, not, you're making the decision to do what's best for you. Yeah. Um, and, but again, and there's the, there's still really lacking confidence in love. I think this person really, um, affected the way you, you're wondering if it's wishful thinking. So I'm not sure now for some of you, what I'm hearing is it's an archetype. It's not just one person. It's you're meeting the same person in a different body. For some of you, I do feel it's the same person that's coming in and out. And for others, I feel like it's an archetype. So what's the lesson? What's the red flag then? How can Sag avoid this archetype in the future here? Well, that was great. <laughs> just, just throw them away, baby. Just throw them away. But I'll grab that card in a sec. Oh, four cups. Okay. The tower. Hold on. Where'd that card go? It fell all the way over here. What is it? What is it, darling? What is it? <laughs> Recognize the red flags. Um, the Knight of Wands is in reverse. So taking things slow um, with that Four of Cups, right? Looking at your options, looking at the path ahead, but asking the right questions with the tower there. Building a solid foundation before you get your heart too invested. That's what I feel they want to say there. So you might, um, you're probably a free spirit. Yeah, and there's the Ace of Cups. So it's an energy of taking things really slow, um, recognizing the red flags, the energy from the past, um, but really looking at just taking things slow and really trusting your intuition. The Four of Cups is always a reminder to get into the hermit mode, to trust your intuition with the decisions that you have to make. So allow your intuition to guide you and make sure that there's solid foundations, right? Make sure if there's any inconsistency, if there's any, you know, you're texting this and they're texting that, match them, baby. Don't be texting that next time. Text them that. Give them the energy they're giving you and that will tell you everything that you need to know to avoid the Knight of Wands upright. Um, okay. Okay, that's what they want to say there. So we're going to grab some oracles. We're going to see what they want to say. Uh, we'll come back to a potential outcome and we'll see um, if there's something new coming through. All right, so what does Sagittarius need to surrender to to pull in true love, soul, mate, energy? Non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe, focus on your power, and let others come to you. So manifest and draw in the right person for you. Let's grab your spirit animal. Frog, transition. This is a powerful time of change. You are being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energies. You may also need to engage in a process of cleansing, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, or energetic. So just pop some protection around you. Do some saging or some cleansing rituals here. Cleanse out this motherfucker from the past or this archetype if it's not one person and if it's just kind of meeting the same energy. Um, and that way you can have a fresh start and a new beginning here. So I am going to get the tarot back. Let's get down to your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. 
You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here, Sadre. And when I say, oh, come, let's see where you are in a month. Let's see if new love has come through. Let's see if this Knight of Wands is still coming through. Let's see if it's something new. Let's talk about it. We're Sagittarius in a month. Talk to us right now. Ah, we got the Page of Pentacles. Bay, bay. That's, this card wants out. Oh, yeah, good. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords in reverse. Okie dokie. What else we got? We still have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. We have the Death again. <laughs> okay. One more card. We got two more cards. We got the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. There's the Five of Swords. There's the Page of... <laughs> All right. Well, they're just going to have to watch you move on. So here's the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is putting the past behind you, but look at the past. It's kind of looking like Sag. Don't leave me behind, Sag. Where are you going, baby? Where are you going? I, I, I don't want you to leave me behind. And you're like, well, sorry, motherfucker. I'm leaving you behind. This is the end of this. You're done. Done like dinner. I, I felt it before, too. You've just had enough. You're done, whether it's the archetype, whether it's a person. It is no more from Sagittarius. And here's what I see. I see you moving on with the chariot, and I see them just having to watch you move on. They didn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated, and now look at them. They're going to have to watch you move on with other people. Uh, you turned your back on this person, this archetype, this situation. You're having a fresh start, and you're having a new beginning. Yeah, you've made the decision to do that. There's competition. So you have options. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Heavy emphasis on Cancer. So Sag, I see you moving forward. I see you dating. This archetype or this past person is just going to have to watch you shine, watch you move forward. That's what happens when you don't treat someone the proper way here. And they lost you for good. You're moving on. Um, but again, I still feel them in your energy. <laughs> so you might be moving on. That doesn't mean they are. So just be aware of that. They're not so supportive of your decision. Um, but whatever, they took you for granted, took you for advantage. Um, and you're moving forward. I don't see you in a relationship or in love. I just see you dating, getting to know some people. There is a heavy emphasis on a Cancerian energy or um, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here in the near future. So Sag, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So <laughs> if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Sagittarius. I really do appreciate your support as always. I truly do. Let's close your reading off today with the final message. Spirit guides. Knowing how to be solitary is central to the art of loving. When we can be alone, we can be with others without using them as a means of escape. So take a solitary walk through a local park or on a trail. Embrace the solitude and appreciate the time with your thoughts. That's what I have, Sag. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.